This is my favorite picture of Linda Lancy. She looks so happy here. I don't really remember her as a happy person. I think that's why the times we laughed so hard stand out in my mind. Like the first time we met playing Boulder Dash with my friend Martha. It still hurts my belly to recall the definitions we came up with and the guffaws that followed. But mostly, Linda's life was tough. She was a single mother of two young girls when she was first diagnosed with breast cancer. She had a mastectomy to be extra sure she got it all, and we were all reassured. She called me two years later when I was diagnosed with breast cancer. As frightened as I was, she made me laugh as she described how she'd catch men admiring her chest while she was dancing, not realizing that she was wearing prosthetic breasts. Her stories comforted me as I made the difficult decision to choose a mastectomy over a lumpectomy. The following year, she took me aside after our theater group's outing to ask what it meant to have an enlarged lymph node. I launched into an explanation about how lymphatic drainage helps fight infection when she asked me to feel the firm lymph node above her right clavicle. I burst into tears. After the chemo failed, we had one more outing. We met at the Paramount Theater for the sing-along version of The Sound of Music. I played it safe as a snowflake that falls in my nose and eyelashes. Linda went as a nun, which was funny because she was far from one. That was the last time I remember laughing together. When Martha called to tell me that Linda was preparing to go into hospice, I despaired. We had had such similar diseases on such divergent courses. For a long time, I didn't go to see her. Finally, I called and stopped by her house. I apologized for not being more present while she suffered, for living when she couldn't. I was single without children and would have truly traded places with her. I begged her forgiveness for not being able to. I went to see her in hospice the following week, but it was already too late. She held my hand, but when I looked in her eyes, I knew she had already moved on. I have a daughter now. I feel joy when she sings about snowflakes that stay on her nose and eyelashes. And I am a survivor. <laughs>